Hey, hey, hey. So we are parked right across the street from Iguazu Falls on the Brazilian side. But the only problem is it's the weekend and we don't really want to go when it's insanely crowded. So we found this nice campsite and we're going to spend the day together here. We got here yesterday and we basically just worked all day yesterday. And after the crazy three border day, the Iguazu Falls on the Argentinian side, we honestly needed a day that was just for recuperating and refilling, restocking and hanging out around the van. So we're happy to be found this campsite. So we're gonna have brunch here. I made this big old rice bowl with, honestly we have like next to nothing left in the van. So this rice is basically a can of tomatoes, some carrots, some peanuts, pecans, lots of seeds, but we definitely have to go to the grocery store. But that's what today's for. We're gonna figure out what we have to do. Fill up the water, showers, work a little bit. We have to travel plan some bit. The most exciting part is going to be tomorrow going to Iguazu Falls on the Brazilian side and I'm so excited to head over there. So let's go start the first thing. So we're chilling here working and the guy gave us some little sweets that kind of look like cream puffs or some kind of donut Cheers. thing. Cheers. Oh wow it's like soft it's like a donut texture mm. it's like a cream filling. You like wow. it? Mm -hmm. Oh really, really nice. Pretty lucky. Maybe yeah that, that was really nice of him. 10 out of 10. We're also charging everything while we have plugs. We aren't getting any solar in this jungle. So we finished up with our day of working. I set up this little leash thing for Sombrerita so because I feel really like I wish that she had a yard to run in all the time but I think there's the helicopter. <laughs> this part wrapped around the tree and then it goes all the way over to the van and then the part that's connected to Sombrita is this carabiner which goes to her actual leash so then she can run back and forth along this line as much as she wants. The best part is is that she doesn't get all tangled. She gets tangled so bad whenever she's on just a regular rope and whenever I saw here that there was plenty of places to string the rope up to I figured we have to try this out and it has worked so nice trying to keep Sambrita happy and active and safe so she really and then every day I've also changed the tree that she's tied up to here goes the helicopter again so then she has different places to sniff around ¿Qué piensas amor? When? When a chica I was asking Graham if he wanted to go outside, but he's being super lazy. Oh, there you are. You want to come outside? Hi, buddy. How are you, Graham? All right, we're going to fill up our water because tomorrow we're heading out of here. So we're gonna fill up the 20 liter or five gallon jerry can that we've got here. They have this potable water spout. Are you gonna come help, buddy? Come help me. Thanks. You're so supportive, Graham.
All right, we got it all set up. It is super duper slow, the yeah. pressure in this for this hose. So we're just going to try and fill it up as quickly as we can without a lot of work and us holding it and stuff like that. Taste test? Yeah. Just kidding. This. Oh my gosh, you, are so, you really scared me there. Now that's what I call high quality a tool. So lately it's been costing $6 to fill the van's water with water jugs. This is one way to cut down on our extra expenses is to try and fill up water whenever we're at a campground. This water is potable, but it tastes a little bit chlorine-y, so we put on our tap filter. This thing is kind of hit or miss sometimes. I really like that I can drink water from anywhere and I know that it's safe. I haven't gotten sick since we started using it, so that's really nice. Sometimes it is just super duper slow. Yeah, so sometimes it can be annoying, but right now it's working out pretty well. This piece screws onto the tap and then it's just basically a gasket that's holding it on there. And then it goes into a tiny hose, which should show you the amount of water pressure that's gonna come through this. I mean, this hose is so tiny. I have to say, Graham, you're really helping us out here. Thank you, buddy, for staying on duty. Of course, somebody that really, really wants to help fill the water. But since we're in the jungle again, we can't really let her off without a leash or someone watching her, so she's got to be hooked up because there are animals here. Danny got to see the monkeys pretty up close eating jackfruit, so that was really, really cool. They were all chilling in this tree. <laughs> These fruits are like the size of a fully stuffed backpack. Huge yeah. fruits. And I think there must have been 50 of those big old fruits up there. Probably how many monkeys? Like maybe 12 monkeys or more. And they would just pull it out. You can see how stringy and gooey the stuff looks inside. Mm -hmm. But they really loved it. And then after, I think kind of the boss would get first pickings. And then the, the young gun kind of came up to check it out. And he was tolerated because the, the <laughs> boss had food. Nice. And then after on the ground, all the little ones went down and picked up the oh, extra pieces. That's so cool. <laughs> yeah. There's some really cute. good clips that you got. We haven't seen monkeys since Ecuador right there, uh, Peru. So yeah. Really good to see monkeys again. Well, it's almost done. Let's head inside. Are you ready to head inside, pretty girl? So, I figured I would give you guys a little tour of the campground. Over here, that building with the butterfly on is our bathroom and shower. And then over to the left, far left, is the reception. I think there's a common area over there, but we haven't really been there, honestly. Because usually we just hang out in the restaurant, which is next to the pool. And it's kind of open air, kind of inside, outside. It has a plastic guard around so that you still get the views of the pool and the jungle around. So this is where we've been working. There's a nice big pool that honestly we haven't used either. Other people have been taking nice dips in the pool. And this is also a restaurant for dinner. We also did our laundry here. And as you can see, they dry it outside, which I love. But I wish it was more in the sun, the drying part, because they ended up being a little bit wet, but because it's a jungle, it's so hard to dry things. Got the rain cover. We get wet at the waterfall there. Yeah. So, there's the helicopter <laughs> that is constantly flying over. So, there's the van. We're gonna leave it here while we head over to the Iguazu Falls, mostly because you have to pay for parking there and we've already paid for parking here, kind of. You know, we paid to stay the night, so we wanted to, we're going to leave the van there and we're going to walk over to Iguazu Falls on the Brazilian side. And then later on, we'll pick it back up. It's also really nice that we could leave it here because it's in the shade. So that makes it a lot cooler for some Rita and Graham. I'm not sure if there is shade in the parking over here. The parking over here is really expensive too. Yeah. So it's kind of nice to get our value out of this campground. All right, let's head to the falls. Let's head to the waterfall. Mm -hmm. So 
you might have to wait a half an hour. Half an hour. Oh, veggie nugs. Any good? Mm. Check it out, this acai bowl. It has parmesan on it. Parmesan? Parmesan in an acai bowl. I thought it was peanut butter. It's cheese. It's really good, but unexpected. Almost to the view of the waterfalls here. Oh, look at that. Yeah, the Brazilian side here is just such a sweeping vista that we're just getting to see right now. But oh the jungle poking God. through too is really, really nice. Wow. It is just taking it all in from this side. I think it's definitely worth going to both sides. For sure. Oh my gosh. I don't even oh want to say which one's better. This, this is, is like, this is the best view yet, I think. I mean, the Argentina side, you have some good views, but here, this is the best view of it I've seen so far. Butterfly likes my hat so much. <laughs> I happen to now 
bastard to make. I crashed the drone a few days ago in a tree. I don't think it's gonna make it. Brazil didn't have as much space, so like it was pretty packed in those spaces. I think on this side it was 88 real, and that side it was uh, 5,500. So how much is that in dollars? Sixteen dollars. Yeah. Sixteen dollars Brazil, Brazil side. About fifteen dollars Argentina side. Yeah. So about the same. On the Argentinian side, we walked for seven miles just on the trails that they had laid out. Whereas on the Brazil side, we only walked for two. In Brazil, we spent about two hours, and in Argentina, we spent about five. So Argentina definitely has more places to go and more stuff to see, and it is a very beautiful part. I think on the Brazil side, it's a little bit more accessible because there aren't as many trails. There's an elevator. It just depends on what you want to do. Oh my gosh, it is closed. No way, shoot. I mean, this is the biggest supermarket in the in the town, so I bet everything's closed. Yeah. Oh my gosh, I feel like this always happens to us where we roll up to something and we're like, ah, it's closed. All right, now, all right, we gotta regroup here. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us in Iguazu, Brazil. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe. And if you'd like to help us out a bit more, head over to our Patreon. We'll see you guys next time.